KE equals half MV squared and F equals KE. KE equals half MV squared. Kinetic energy in joules is equal to a half or 0.5 multiplied by mass in kilograms multiplied by the square of the velocity in meters per second. KE equals a half MV squared. If an object has mass and velocity, then it has kinetic energy. This energy is equal to one half of the mass multiplied by the velocity squared. Note that this means kinetic energy is proportional to the square of the velocity, so small increases in velocity can have a large effect on the kinetic energy. Ke equals half mv squared. To make the mass the subject of the equation, if you know the velocity and the kinetic energy, first cancel out the half by doubling both sides. 2 Ke equals mv squared. Then divide through by velocity squared, that is move the v squared under the 2 Ke. 2 Ke over v squared equals m. 2 times the kinetic energy divided by the square of the velocity equals mass. Ke equals half mv squared. To make the velocity the subject of the equation, if you know the mass and the kinetic energy, first cancel out the half by doubling both sides as we did before. 2 Ke equals mv squared. Then divide through by mass, that is move the m under the 2 Ke. 2 Ke over m equals v squared. Then square root both sides to cancel out the square on the v. The square root of 2 Ke over m equals v. The square root of 2 times the kinetic energy divided by the mass equals velocity. This is one of the most complicated rearrangements you might need to do in GCSE and IGCSE physics, so make sure you practice it to get really comfortable with it. Ke equals half mv squared. F equals Ke. The force needed to extend a spring in newtons is equal to the spring constant in newtons per meter divided by the extension in meters. Spring extensions will almost always be stated in centimeters or millimeters, so watch out for a unit conversion here. F equals Ke. The stiffness of a spring is known as the spring constant. To extend any spring by a distance requires a force, and the bigger the spring constant, the bigger the force needed will be. F equals Ke. To make the spring constant the subject of the equation, if you know the force in the extension, divide through by the extension. That is, move the E under the F. F over E equals K. Force divided by the extension equals the spring constant. F equals Ke. To make the extension the subject of the equation, if you know the force and the spring constant, divide through by spring constant. That is, move the K under the F. F over K equals E. Force divided by the spring constant equals the extension. F equals Ke. This lessons equations were Ke equals half mv squared and F equals Ke. Please re-watch this video as many times as you need to to make sure you succeed in your physics GCSE and IGCSE.